It's right about time again to swerve again. Confuse the general fans again. Add another swerve and then put it on a pole again. Put it on a pole again. Put it on the pole again. And I swear to God. It's gonna get emotional as I wait to overbook the damn card. I guess I'm losing confidence in my competence. This is now president. Shoot or work or work or shoot. Let's put the title on the boot. The boot defends against the fruit. The fruit defends against my suit. And I swear to God. Where's one wet promotion of a wall as I wait to overboard for Dram Quad? Oh, 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 wanna be, I wanna be, oh, wanna be the baddest man on the planet, on the planet, on the planet. How about we put seven men in a four-man tag? Let's do the angle pumps on crack. How about a title match? First to do ten jumping jacks. We'll then receive a title match. Royal Rumble on a pole match. When I swear with God, we're for quit, grab a clear out. And the way to overbook for them quite a great. Hello, everybody. It is Monday morning, February 21st, 2022. I am Vince Russo, and this is the Daily Casual Fan, RussoBrand.com. Poll. The poll we take Monday through Friday. Now, let me remind you what this was designed for. This was designed for the casual fans to have a voice as it pertains to why they no longer watch professional wrestling, bro. Because the casual fans are not the wrestling marks, bro, that go on the worldwide interweb and talk about five-star matches and, and toss Tony Khan up on their shoulders and carry him around the arena. No, those are the marks. Those are the marks, those who have convinced themselves and believe that wrestling is real. I'm talking about the normal people, bro, the casual fans, the television viewers who have stopped watching professional wrestling. The whole idea behind this show, bro, was to give them the the, the opportunity to be heard, bro. To be heard, and maybe by some miracle, you can bring them back to this horrible business. That was the intent. But Houston, we've clearly got a problem now, bro, because I think the marks have infiltrated our poll, bro. Because based on the last poll, these are not casual fans. These are not normal people. These are not people with brains in their head. You know you know what these people are here? Here, they're puppets, bro. They're puppets that have been brainwashed by the Dave Meltzes and the Tony Khans of the world, bro. And slowly but surely, they are taking over the poll. Casual fans, you need to step up. The poll is meant for people with a brain. It is not meant for the sheep. It is meant for the leaders. I've made that clear. Now, guys, we've let these marks win at everything else. We cannot let them take over our poll, bro. I'm telling you right now. If they take over our poll, we're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. So, casual fans, you got to step up. 
We got to squash, squash, squash these marks like the bugs that they are. So what has got me all upset? Well, what has got me all upset is Friday's poll, bro. And I'm going to say this. This doesn't have me upset. 2,300 people, bro. 2,300 people. That is a solid, solid sampling, bro. Solid sampling. Now, we all know the absolute joke of Tony Khan winning Booker of the Year for the second straight straight year, the, the Wrestling Observer polls. The Dave Meltzer polls, bro. The, the, you know, Dave, Dave Meltz is like this spiritual leader, and, and these sheep just follow behind whatever Dave says, whatever Dave thinks is gospel. For the second year in a row, Dave has persuaded the marks that Tony Khan is booker of the year. I, I got one simple question, bro. What is he booked? What has this man booked? What ha- Give me one compelling storyline, bro. One compelling storyline that AEW had in 2021. A lot of people are going to point to uh, Hangman Page and uh, bro, whatever his, I don't even remember his name anymore. Uh, the 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 former, I don't I don't even remember. Somebody help me in a chat. I, these guys, I don't even remember their names anymore. Who 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 did Adam Page beat for the uh, title, bro? Kenny Omega. Okay, bro, what, that that what that wasn't a storyline that just went on for a long time. There, there was no storyline. They were tag team partners who became friends and were champions. And then they split up, bro. Wasn't that the Rocker, the Rockers circa 1980, bro? That's not an original storyline, bro. That's a storyline that's been done a million times before. These guys were friends and they're tag team partners. And now they're broken up and now they're competing. That's not a story, bro. Bro, th- that story was done before Michaels and Janetti were even born, bro. I promise you. Go back in the annals of professional wrestling. You'll see that somebody did that in 1910. That's not a storyline, bro. That's obvious. That's the obvious. Then what's the other one? He put CM Punk and MJF in a match. Oh, bro, it's it's our turn now. It's you, you you've had your time. Walk away in the sunset. Oh, bro, very reminiscent of uh, Bruno San Martino and Larry Zabisco, circa 1970 Shea Stadium. Are you kidding me, bro? These are not original ideas. These are very basic fundamentals ideas that have been going on since the beginning of time. So, what did he book, bro? Tell me what he booked. He totally butchered the return of CM Punk. He, he, even, even the markiest of marky AEW fans would say that. CM Punk was gone for seven years, and Tony Khan, Tony Khan succeeded in making him just another a name on the roster. Daniel Bryan, bro. Da- what, 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 what type of impact did Daniel Bryan have from a creative standpoint coming into AEW? If you're going to name somebody Booker of the Year, bro, you got to give me examples. There are none. What is, it, what is this guy booked? So now let's go to the poll, 2,300 of you. Who really should be Booker of the Year? There were five choices. Vince McMahon, Tony Khan, my English Bulldog Penelope, the guy who writes Yellowstone, and Wade Keller, because we know Wade Keller likes to book all his own stuff. So here's how the poll went, bro. 20% Vince McMahon, 28% Tony Khan, 19% my English Bulldog Penelope, 24% the guy who writes Yellowstone, and Wade Keller, 8%. So let's get Wade out. Wade, your your impressions, your booking, they're, they're horrible, Wade. They're horrible. 
No, nobody cares. Nobody wants you to book anything, bro. So you're, you're out of the running with 8%. My dog, Penelope, has tri- literally tripled, almost tripled Wade Keller, my dog, Penelope. Almost tripled, bro. So Wade's out of the running. So here are the problems I got with this poll right away. Bro, I'm telling you, and maybe it's because you don't know her as intimately as I do. I'm telling you, bro, my English bulldog, Penelope, three years old, Penelope can book a better wrestling show, TV show, than Vince McMahon. There's no doubt in my mind. Bro, Penelope watches TV. She sits there with me. She watches TV. She studies TV. Bro, if I took a pen and stuck it in her paw, no doubt in my mind she is capable of writing a better wrestling show than Vince McMahon. But yet, you've got Vince eking her out 20 to 19. Seriously, bro, 20 to 19? I'm telling you, bro, stick a pen in Penelope's paw and she will write a better wrestling show than Vince McMahon. So that that's that's problem number one. Problem number two. Bro, have you guys watched Yellowstone? M- maybe you should. Maybe you should turn off the crappy, the shitty, the childish, the embarrassing, the uh, uh, juvenile wrestling and tur- actually turn on a good television show. You want to see what a good television show is, bro, with writers and characters and storyline? You want to know what that? Watch Tombstone, bro. You will get an idea of what a good television show is supposed to look like. A good written show, a good produce. Check it out, bro. It's on uh it's it's even on Peacock. I'm giving Peacock a plug. It's on Peacock, it's on Paramount. Check it out. The fact that you have 28% Tony Khan and 24% the guy who writes Yellowstone, bro, you are out of your freaking minds. That that just tells me, bro, you don't know what good TV is. You you have no clue what good television is. If you think pro wrestling is good TV, you are telling me you have no idea what good wrestling is. And now it just dawned on me, bro. I didn't vote. So if I would have voted, Penelope would have tied Vince McMahon. But I didn't vote. So an English Bulldog and Vince McMahon would have been neck and neck. But you guys are going to choose Tony Khan over the dude that writes yellow. So, bro, this is embarrassing to me. And let me tell you, bro, we have comments. So you guys can tell me, bro, what incredible, monumental, unbelievable storylines Tony Khan created in 2021. I can't wait to hear. I can't wait to hear. So I'm going to keep going because I'm not going to give up hope. Let's look at today's poll because, again, WWE, okay, bro, let's just book legends in matches and beat them. Everybody knows we're going to beat them. Everybody knows we're going to beat Lita. Everybody knows we're going to beat Goldberg. So we're just going to waste everybody's time with these insignificant matches. So here's the question. If the WWE were actually ever to put a legend over in a championship match, who should it be? So if they were ever going to put a WWE legend over to win a championship title, who should it be? Here are the choices. Number one, Kurt Angle. Number two, Trish Stratus. Number three, Edge. Number four, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And number five, The Rock. That is today's poll. 
Guys, I'm going to plead with you. Don't let the Marks take over. The Marks have done enough damage, bro. The Marks have done the hocus pocus, bro, to make all the normal people turn off wrestling. If you want it back, bro, you've got to take over this poll. And also, bro, you got to support me, bro, each and every day. Dozens and dozens on, of podcasts, bro. Check me out, russosbrand.com or patreon.com forward slash Russo TWC. Guys, I will be back tomorrow. Mark, casual fan, whoever you are, I still want you to have a great day today. I will see you tomorrow. It's right about time again to swerve again. Confuse the general fans again. As another swerve and then put it on a pole again. Put it on a pole again. Put it on the pole again. And I swear to God, it's gonna get emotional as I wait to overbook the damn cars. I guess I'm losing confidence in my competence. Visser is now president. Shoot to work or work or shoot. Let's put the title on a boot. The boot defends against a fruit. The fruit defends against my suit. And I square the board. Where's one wet promotion of a wall? As I wait to overboard for Dram Quad. Oh, 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 wanna be, I wanna be, oh, wanna be the baddest man on the planet, on the planet, on the planet. How about we put seven men in a four-man tag? Let's do the angle punks on crack. How about a title match? First to do ten jumping jacks. We'll then receive a title match. Royal Rumble on a pole match. When I grab with God, we're fucked with grab a clear And wait to overbook for them quad again. See you tomorrow, everybody!